Hey everyone, Fathom here. I get a lot of questions regarding my scripting setup, like how the view model show for certain weapons and for others it does not. So today I'll be going over how to customize those on a per weapon basis. So first things first, let's get to your config directory. So to get there, it is C, program files x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Team Fortress 2, TF, and then the CFG folder here. <clears throat> so let's jump in there. In here, you'll find all of your class configs as well as any other configs that you can execute on the fly. So if you haven't already, you should create an autoexec.cfg. And what this file does is it executes anytime you open your game. The next one I would recommend creating is a reset config. So just create this here. And what we'll be putting in there is settings that you need to reset between classes. So you go back to a, a common state. So let's take a look at those files. So here's my auto exec. You can see at the very beginning I'm executing uh, maxframes.config, which is Chris's FPS config. I'm also executing my reset config. And then below here you'll see I'm setting up sensitivity, raw input, FPS max, uh, and so on, any specific settings to me. And then jumping over to the reset config, then here I have some of the same things that I have in my auto exec, um, but some of these things may have changed between classes for me that I've set in those class configs. So here I'm setting back to something that I know. So looking at the pyro config. So first things first, you can see I execute my reset config to get back to that base state that I talked about. And then down here, you can see I'm setting up a bunch of aliases, an alias for each one of my weapons. So what an alias does is it defines a single variable here. And when you execute that, it will execute all of these commands. So you can see I have my degreaser, flare, shoddy, and melee. So for my degreaser, it will switch to slot one, which is the primary. I'm setting my draw view model to zero, so not shown. I'm setting my view model FOV to 120, which makes it a, the flames a little bit further out. And then I'm setting up my HUD combat text batching window to be two seconds. So you can see for, for each one of these weapons, I have a slight variation uh, of these values. And then below that, I'm binding each one of these aliases to a key. So for me, I use Q for my primary, E for my secondary, and mouse five for my melee. Um, so that will get you, you know, what you're looking for at a very low level. So down here you can see I'm doing a couple of extra things. I have a toggle for switching between flare and shoddy basically for my E key. So you can see when I hit L it's going to execute hide secondary which binds E to shoddy and then it binds L back to be show secondary for the next time that I hit L. And to make it even easier, if you set up your loadouts uh, in a certain way, so for me, I have my first loadout is always, you know, my, my main loadout, my flare gun. So I'm making it so show secondary is enabled. And then for the second one, I always have a shoddy on that loadout. So what I do is I have my two key, load that loadout, and then also hide the secondary. So let's jump over to game real quick so we can see that. You can see uh, right now I'm on my shoddy, and I press L, and then I hit E one more time, that key will show. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions about any of that. Um, looking forward to do uh, more tutorials in the future. I'm definitely looking for some ideas for future ones as well. So thanks for watching.